that's the, on the top of the packet of information that I gave you. Um, I felt that I should have given it to you the last time so that you could uh, go through it and look at it and, and see where I'm coming from on, on my rights and the rights of tenants in this city. Uh, and I also gave you a copy of the landlord ordinance uh, because in my letter I state that we need to reevaluate how we are uh, keeping track of rental properties in this city and how it is non-friendly to landlords and actually unconstitutional to tenants. So I figured I'd give you a copy of the ordinance so you can read through it. It's uh, 28 pages of uh, legalese, and, um, and you'll be able to compare back to my letter and see where my points are and how they compare to this ordinance. Um, I also brought a copy of the uh, landlord manager contract information. And it's interesting because in, um, when I went into City Hall to uh, sign up to get the property inspected, I didn't have to fill out this paperwork. So it seems that it's selectively enforced in paperwork, in management of rental properties. There has to be a better way to do this so that we can keep track of the rental properties so that landlords and tenants uh, comply with an ordinance that's user friendly. And, and last of all, um, I would like to have a hearing in front of the Board of Appeals for the $1,000 fine that I've been assessed. And I was handed a paper on the state code saying that, um, you know, this is what the city is following, but it was never voted on by ordinance. At least nobody shown me an ordinance that says that it's a $100 non-refundable fee. And I think that's something that, you know, to be heard, I shouldn't have to give up $100 of my money um, just to be heard. Now, I can understand if it's a deposit to make sure that I show up and uh, would go towards any fines that I might be assessed. But to have a non-refundable fee that council never voted on and passed and it's not a part of the ordinance itself, uh, it looks to me like it's something that was just made up and tacked on there to kind of stop people from fighting city hall. And so then, once again, landlords will not participate in, in the city's inspection program because it's, you walk in and the next thing you know you're slapped with a thousand dollar fund. And that's all I have to say. I, I don't know how to get any response from council. I would be happy to serve on a committee to review the landlord ordinance since I'm a landlord. Um, I served on the Transition Committee, uh, Ethics Commission for the county. Um, I've served on, in other capacities, uh, Home Rule Study Commission back in 2001. I would be happy to donate my time to help review this ordinance. I'm sure there's many other capable people in the city who would like to look at this and maybe make it something that could actually work in the city instead of not work. And that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you.